dampers, gainer again. Um, another simple card, but one of the new sets that are coming out in June uh, on my pre-order. So this one, I just cut the daisy out. It's, it's gorgeous. It's called, um, let me find it, Daisy Delight. And the, it's a photopolymer stamp set with a matching daisy punch, which is what I've used on this one. Um, there is a stamp for the actual daisy. Um, and this is the stamp set. Oh, it's beautiful. You've got loads of uh, little things here and the centres for the flowers for there. All different types of stems, little tiny flowers, which are the start of the daisies. These are the daisies because they're getting it a bit bigger. The leaves, absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to be doing this card again. On this one I used... Um, the, gar um, the Delightful Daisies uh, Designer Series paper, they come in 12 sh by 12 sheets. I always take one of each design, leave them as 12 by 12s, and the other one I cut down into four lots of 6 by 6. So I'm going to pull a few of these out for you to have a look at. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous, the design paper is. So you get two full sheets of this, and... One's that side, one's that side. So I always put two sheets one way and another sheet the other way. And then you get this beautiful one with that background. Absolutely stunning. Uh, I want to keep these in order because uh, this this would go beautiful with the swirly birds um, thinlets. Absolutely gorgeous. And that's the other side. Some gorgeous designs. Oh, look at these daisies. And I love Night of Navy, so I'm changing up my DSP uh, for this one. So that's that side, and that's the other side. And then you've got a more and more detailed one, like the front. Uh, like this one at the front. I'm going to find it. Uh, but more, more design, and with a paler version of the Calypso Coral where they've stamped it and then stamped off. Beautiful. And obviously that's the back. But I always do this with my designer series paper because nine times out of ten our cards are five and a half or five and a quarter by four and you always get a nice little strip of a two inch piece left over afterwards which can go down the centre of a card and you don't get hardly any waste. So this is the back of that, absolutely beautiful. And this, look at this, oh, like a watercolour effect. And that's the back. So I cut my pieces down, as you can see. And then I pop them, whoops. I pop them then in, oh, I need to work this out now, that's, that's my, that's the side I want, that's it. I pop these then in a little 6 by 6 cellophane bag with a piece of cardstock telling me what the designer series paper is called and the number so I can just easily write, get down to it instead of going searching, I can put it straight on my order. And the coordinating colours then, which is Calypso Coral, Delight, uh, Daffodil Delight, Night of Navy, Old Olive, Tranquil Tide and Wisp of White. So they're your colours. So I know what colours to use. But I've used Sweet Sugar Plum, um, Flirty Flamingo and Blushing Bride for my uh, flowers. I'm going to try and get this back in there. Um, because I love a pink daisy, me. And uh, the shades of that pink then are absolutely gorgeous. I do like coral and I do love the um, the daffodil delight. But that's how I do my designer series paper. I think I've shown it before. But I used this card, which on the reverse is the lovely daisies. Um, for this card, but for this card now, I'm going to be using 
this one. I like that, but I also love the night and navy because that's going to be my colour for today uh, for this card. And I angled that one that way. I'm going to angle this one this way. So it's going to be exactly the same card, but just different design of series paper. Differently angled. I could put it in the centre, but that's a bit boring, isn't it? You can zoom it up a bit. So it just fits perfect. So, uh, oh, and also I'm going, to, I use the gold ones of these. They are called clear faceted gems. I'm going to use the clear ones on this one. I use the gold ones on that one. And the new All oh My Stars embossing folder. I love the dimple, but I'm going to turn it over and have it raised on this one. I use vanilla, very vanilla on this one, and I'm using Whisper White on this one. So it's going to be two totally different cards, done in exactly the same way, but I'm keeping my flowers the same. Look, I've done one already. I will show you how I did it, but how beautiful. It's just to save time, give it some texture. And I layered three, the three colours. I didn't stamp the veins on the flower on there, but I have on these. And I'm just going to give it a different dimension. So two perfectly different cards, but done exactly the same way. So let's get cracking. First of all, you need your card, which is 11 and 3 quarters by 4 and a quarter scored at 5 and 3 quarters. The DSP then is just a fraction, a half inch all round, um, smaller, so that's five and a half by four. And I'm going to attach that now while we're here. Be it's a shame to cover up this beautiful design. I'd sooner have 24 sheets of paper and just have plain white on the back. So I can get to use everything. <laughs> but that's me, I'm a greedy girl. <laughs> But I love the design. That's why I do that with the 6x6 six six and cut it up. Because I know I've got a full 12x12 12 12 sheet left of each one. If I want to do, say, a handbag or other bigger projects. Um, I am going to... This is like... So this is brand new. This is coming out in uh, the new catalogue as well. So I'm going to pop that inside there while I just get my big shot up and I'm going to swap over the plate just for run this through as long as the two plates are on there it doesn't matter if it's in between or if it's on, in, uh, underneath all or on the top or whatever just as long as they're there. Because I'm not using the embossing folder, I always go back to my mag uh, magnetic platform. New plates on it, so yay! So I'm going to put that down there for a moment. Get this out of the way. And that's that done. And oh, look at this. Look at that pattern. How beautiful. I turned it this way on that card. Um, I don't know why, but I'm having it this way now. So the, uh, the stars are pointing up. Because I just love this new stamp set. And it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I always write on my folders with a Sharpie as well. What the name of the folder is and it's uh catalogue number as well in case anybody asks and i haven't got to go checking through anything but this is where this is going perfect and i can attach that now because the rest is all stamped on the flowers uh this is a new stamp set as well with a coordinating punch this is called Label Me Pretty. Um, so you've got to see the new daisy punch and uh, stamp. 
and the new Deli uh, Daisy Delights Design Series paper. And you're going to get to see this stamp set as well. Like I'm saying, it's called Label Me Pretty. It's absolutely gorgeous. And look how what crisp and clean the Whisper White and the Night and Navy are when they go together. So let's get this little beauty adhered to my card stuck now as well. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. So again, I want to angle this. So it's not hanging over the edge there, or the edge there. But it looks pretty. Just offset. Isn't that cute? Like I say, I've done my first line. I know I'm a naughty girl for doing that. Um, but and I'm going to put the daisies parallel to the other ones. So this side is there. So this is going here and a new one is going down there. So let's make that said flower. Isn't that crook? I just love how clean and crisp it is. Um, I've got some... Just some scrap pieces of uh, Blushing Bride. I have been naughty again and cut out the Sweet Sugar Plum and the Flirty Flamingo. And with, I just add Tombow in it and just offset them a little bit. So when you get the third one in, perfect. Let's just do that with you now. And I love these tone on tone colours. Absolutely gorgeous. So make sure it's pointing like a cross first in the centre. That way your punch will go straight in. You won't have to wiggle it round. You don't have to cut any bits off or anything like that. I'll show you now. And that's just the subtlest little thing. It's absolutely gorgeous. So that ink is done with now. I can pop that away. And here's our daisy punch. Oh, beautiful. Yes, if you punch straight down, look, there she goes. Absolutely lines up perfect. Yes. Just a little a bit of adjustment because I don't that's it. Yeah, oops, a daisy. I'm just lining it up. There we go, and I'll show you then. Perfect look. And she pops out perfectly. You're going to make so many things with this. Unbelievable. So that's my scrap piece. Go back in my scrap bin. Um, so now I've got all three flowers. I'm affecting my tombow. I've got to fetch the big shot in actually again. So I'm having on the bottom this time my flirty flamingo. Oops. Oh, that's come out a lot. Oh, flip it. Scoop a bit up and put it on there. Oh, that came out fast, didn't it? <laughs> so I'm going to take this beauty. These centers match up perfectly as well. So I just want to offset that a little bit. I will press down in the center in a moment when I've got this one on. So this one then fits in those gaps. Now I can press down. And look, oh, there's a little bit of glue oozing out on that one. Don't worry about that. That's what I love about the Tombow, where there's plenty of wiggle room. If I get my piercing tool in there. It will dry clear anyway, so. And this one is not. Oh, I love it. Look how cute. And make sure that's. I can't, I can't mess with that one just yet. So while I'm waiting for that one to set a little bit, let's get our big shot back in. I need to cut a bit. Uh, oval out of my black and I also need to cut the layering oval with the scalloped edge 
out of my blue, so my knighted navy, so I'll pop that in a little. I can do the two at the same time. Because I'm good like that. <laughs> I do apologise about the shaking of the camera as well. My camera is above. My husband made me it frame work is perfect, but when I'm dabbing my inks, it's really loud and I do apologise. Uh, I think it can be quite off point. I can't stand the sound of it, to tell you the truth, but uh, there we have it. Let's see how simple they come apart. And these are from the Layering Ovals, absolutely gorgeous uh, piece of equipment to have. They can go back in my scraps. So my Knight of Navy, which you're barely going to see actually, but it will contrast and I'll show you why in a minute. Black always uh, looks good on a layer. I'm going to fetch in, which I forgot to do, a scrap piece of Whisper White. And here comes my other punch, which for some reason I got on a wood mat. Even though I didn't ask for a wood mount. <laughs> um, the other one said in the centre, you're the best. And which you are all the best. I'm using this one again. Which is just the frame. But I like this one. It's going to go in my centre this time. And it says, thank you for caring. I think that's lovely. So there's the two I'm going to use on this one. This, like I'm saying, is another set, which comes with its coordinating punch. I don't know what the punch is called. I think it's just the Pretty Labels punch. So I'm going to have a swig of my coffee, girls. I'm a Nescafe Gold Blend girl, so oof. <laughs> and I'm going to use... Hi, <laughs> my black memento ink. I think, uh, I think this works well. So I do apologise for the thumping. I will hold my. No, I can't. Oh, I'm quiet for once. So I'm going to pop this here. That lovely. I'm going to pop this one upside down because uh, I hope it fits. <laughs> That's because I couldn't see the bottom. <gasps> Beautiful. Oh, that is so cute. Thank you for caring. I suppose it. Let me try one more time. It could have been in the centre a little bit more. Let me do this one. Oh, it's lovely. I really like that. And I'm going to place this. I see I should have bought the clear mount. I think I'll go back to the first one. <laughs> yeah, okay, Gina. <laughs> boop, boop, turn. <laughs> that one's even lower down than that one. Probably about the same. Yeah, they are actually. <laughs> oh, it, it's uh, uh, well, it is getting on. It's, uh, it's... And look at that fussy cutting board all around that. It's beautiful. Bear with me because uh, these grooves I've got to line up. I then groove. Actually, I think. Perfect. And look at that cute little label. Is that not just the best? And that's going to go... I don't know whether to use the black, actually. I used it on the other one. I think it might get a bit lost in there. Yes, I think I might just go and pop that 
on the night navy. Oh, I think that's lovely. Again, I'm going to use my Tombow. Beautiful. This is coming out really fast. Let's be careful with that. Oh, I do love that. I should have cut. Oh, I could have stamped in Night of Navy as well. But that looks perfect on there. How sweet and clean and refreshing does that look? Ask. Oh, that's lush. I'm gonna, I've got a couple of little rhinestones left here, tiny ones. I am going to put one that side. And one that side. Oh, now look at that pattern now. It's the shape of one of the little stamps we've got left that come out on the Eastern, Eastern Palace suite. Right, this is dry now. So take your bone folder and just zhuzh up them petals. I think I'm going to end up liking the second card way better than the first. <gasps> How's that? I'm going to fetch these in. And I'm using the largest one. And it fits in there. Perfect. I'm sure they made these for this. Oh, look how pretty that is. <gasps> look at those flowers. I'm going to pop this on dimensions in the centre and I'm going to try and line this up because it's offset you, you're tempted to do that but I want to try and keep it try and get halfway yes I might add that believe it or not that's straight <laughs> so I'm just going to pop some in dimensions on there But you could do any colour flower you wanted. The new berry burst is absolutely stunning. But uh, you could use plain white cardstock. It's entirely up to you. You, you can get yellow daisies, pink daisies, white daisies. Oh, I just love them all. <gasps> I tell you what would look really nice. Smoky slate on white. Dabbed, stamped on a piece of scrap, then on the whisper white. Just to get that subtle shading on the petals. Oh my god, that would look beautiful. But, you, like I said, I've chose the pinks. And against this navy, it's going to look absolutely beautiful. So that looks straight to me. I lift it up and have a look. Oh yeah. Now we're going to place our daisies. On here. Oh my god, I love that one just as much. I'll tell you what I'm going to do first, ladies and gents. You know me, I'm a Wink Costella. I've just opened a fresh one. I'm just going to go over these roughly. And to me, Wink Costella on a flower looks like morning dew, like you would when you're walking through the park in the morning. Taking the dog for a walk, watching them flowers glisten in the sunshine. <gasps> Absolutely beautiful. When one could take said dog for a walk, oh. I just sit in my chair and craft. <laughs> my little dogs throw the ball up and down the garden twice. They knackered and want to come in. <sighs> They weigh three pounds, uh, well, no, sorry, three kilos, four kilos. They're little fat chihuahuas. <laughs> and they're terrible on leads. Especially uh, my little Lexi. Lexi Boo, she's beautiful. I call her princess, so she's called Spoil My Animals Rock. Again, um, you can just pop it in the centre of your hand even, and cup your hand. Oh, look at that. Just cup it gently. And then, they will get flattened out, I suppose, on your cut in the journey in the envelope, but oh, I'm loving that. 
What do you reckon? Or should I go back to them corners? No, I'm loving that side now. So to make sure they stay secure, I could have popped them on a dimension, but Tombow is way stronger and it's not going anywhere. So if you are a new customer or we, or if you just want a catalogue um, and you've never shot with me before, I will uh, send you an out, but you'll have to pay £3 towards publishing and packing. Um, but if you've been a customer of mine before, don't worry, you're automatically going to get uh, a catalogue. Um, or if you would like to make a purchase from the clearance rack or the, you know, the retiring stuff before you get, before it all goes. And you place an order of £25 or more this month in my shop, you'll automatically get a free catalogue. And then you'll automatically get um, put onto my mailing list as well, ready for the seasonal catalogues that come out for summer, spring, summer, autumn, winter ones. How stinking gorgeous. Oh, I can tell a lie. I'm going to show you a third stamp set now because this one is, I use this in the centre of my card. Where's my black gun? There it is. Um, I'm going to do it first, then I'll show you the stamp set. So I've used in total three stamp sets on this card. But you can use as many as you like. Mm -hmm. It's entirely up to you. I was going to do a different project with a different stamp set every single night, but oh, I was too excitable. And this. I'm just going to leave, press down. Because I use the liquid paper and leave it thick, I don't just pull one sheet off at a time and literally use the whole part and rest against it. I don't have to fetch it in my piercing mat. So, um, and I want some ideas. I'm going to our Pinkies weekend in Birmingham in June. And there's about 40 odd ladies going already, so they've asked us to make 50 swaps each. So I'm trying to think of something nice. It's quick and not going to take up too much space in the car. Um, for our swaps. <gasps> look, and it's literally, if you look at my stamp, all that ink is there. It's just there on there, and there's virtually nothing left on there. Let me just have a look at it. <gasps> oh, yes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Alright, I'm going to put that to one side. Now, here comes back my stamp. And pick a colour out of the three we've used. I'm going to go flirty flamingo for this one. I used, I'll show you what I did on the other, inside of the other card first. I did the happy birthday and then I stamped. I used um, sweet sugar plum. So again, I'm going to do this one here. And this one here. How cute. Oh, I got a bit of a smudge for there. But how stinking cute is that? It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And I think it picked up a little bit of the ink there. But... Uh, it looks nice because it's only stayed on the petals. So there's uh, there's two cards, exactly the same but totally different if you know what I mean. Um, oh, i tell you what I did. I want to check the time. Oh, it's getting close. But I'm just going to add a little drizzle of Winker Stella to my uh, stars. Quickly. Let's add a bit more. Oh, I love my Costella. Okay, this is a brand new one, so. Mm. 
I'm trying to fill the chamber up, but I don't want to do it over my project. No, I mean, I'll flip in. I have way too much. Oh, that's better. Now it's coming out. That's it. I can see it now. Perfect. Right, that's it. These are my two cards. Exactly the same, but totally different. I put you're the best on there, and thank you for caring. Uh, and then I'm going to put happy birthday inside. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, thank you for caring. Uh, that it's your birthday. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. Right, well, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video and you would like a catalogue, uh, I'll put... Um, I will put my email address for my PayPal if you want a catalogue. Leave me a message on my blog uh, or send me an email, which will be on the blog as well. Or go and make a purchase, buy something you really want, get a free catalogue from me. And you will get a free catalogue, but you're just helping towards the cost of postage and packing. But if you're already a customer of mine, you've no need to do that, so... Well, I hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up, a share and a subscribe would be amazing. Uh, and until next time, see you next time. Bye.